guests. Thank you. Mr. Toastmaster for the introduction. It's good to be here and I am honored and excited to be speaking about preparation on a team of people which I am the freshman, the rookie, and I'm honored to be doing that. So I'm hoping that what we'll get out of this tonight for all of us, including myself, will be some really good ideas on the pre preparation and practicing and presentation of the speech. My portion of that is preparation. I hope to do it justice. I'm going to tell just a short little story to get, warm us up for that. And it was a story about a boy who was watching his father prepare a, prepare a message. He was a pastor. And the little boy says to his dad, who's preparing the message, Daddy, how do you know what to say when you're preparing a, a sermon? And the little boy said, or the dad said to the little boy, well, God tells me what to say. And the little boy says, then why are you scratching out so many things as you're writing down the notes? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that ties right in with when I'm preparing for a speech, ideas just seem to come and go. And it's really important to start with the, the topic of the idea. And give a uh, graphic just to help you understand what that means. Ideas is where the, where the speech really starts. As you can see, there's, there's things that just run through our minds and, and they can come to us at any time. The first thing I think is very important to do is to carry a notepad with you. I carry a notepad. It can be a smaller one this size that you can fit in your pocket or in a briefcase or a larger one. But have a notepad and a pen available. You never know when an idea is going to pop into your mind. I was driving down the street today thinking about something totally different and I heard someone mention the word enthusiasm on the radio. And a speech just started creating in my head just like that. So I actually reached over to my notepad and I wrote down, do a speech on enthusiasm. And that's the way it can happen sometimes. There's, uh, I was telling actually Janice about the, the topic I was going to speak on tonight. She was kind enough to give me a quote from a study that was done. It's an article on brain mapping. And this ties right in with what we're talking about. It says, ideas are inconsiderate. They show up at the most inconvenient times when we're not when we're about to doze off or when we're trying to pay attention during a business meeting or sometimes even when we're walking the dog but it also applies to the fact that ideas can sometimes refuse to show up when we most need them so it's important to be thinking about when we're going to write the ideas down carry a notepad with us and we can write down the ideas that's where the beginning comes from the creative mind and god's given us all the ability to be creative so even though we're not all divinely inspired when we speak in some ways we are because we're given the ideas to create and be able to create the creative part of what human beings do. The other thing that I think is really important when we're thinking about things to speak about, especially if we have the option, is what are we passionate about? It really helps to deliver and connect with the audience if you can think, what are you passionate about? So that helps in thinking of the ideas. What am I passionate about? Start journaling, start writing on those things. The other thing that's really important that I've learned since I've been in Toastmasters, one of my biggest problems is I try to say too much in too short a period of time. As you can tell, I'm probably talking a little fast right now. That's one of the things I'm working on. So the idea is to write your speech objective on something that's the size of a business card or a post-it note and do it with a Sharpie. And so this is what I've done. Tonight, I'm writing down the three areas that are important for preparing a speech. And that's what I tried to narrow myself down to. If you can put it on a, something this size with a Sharpie, it helps limit the amount of things that you need to talk about in preparation. So that's something I've learned since I've been in Toastmasters. It's been very helpful to me. The second thing, once you have the idea, now it's time to write it. We want to write the speech, narrow it down, and that really depends on what kind of speech you're planning on giving. For me, if it's something that I'm really enthusiastic about and I really know the subject, writing to me could be just putting down bullet points. Writing down the bullet points, talking points. But I would really suggest if you're going to be in a competition or if it's a certain type of speech, to write out the speech word for word and write it and rewrite it. Practice it and rewrite it and keep trying and rewriting it. But it's so important to put it in words to write it out. S studies have shown that if you actually write something out, you, you learn it eight times better than if you just read it. So writing something out is so important when you're preparing for a speech. And then you can read it once you get to the next point, which is to practice. Once you get it written and you've rewritten it and you've done it, then it's time to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Like anything we want to do well in life, practicing is really important. The one thing that uh, is very difficult for me, but I did that several times before I did this presentation, was to stand up and talk out loud. Tonight I was doing it to my dog, so my dog was just looking at me, <coughs> barking at me every now and then. But to hear your own voice, say it out loud. Don't just read it in your head. Because I found getting into Toastmasters, when I stood up here and started hearing my own voice, it freaked me out at first. 
And so to hear your voice, to hear yourself speaking out loud is very important. The other thing that I think is important to do is if you can, practice in front of a mirror. If you can't, you don't have to look at yourself the whole time, but look at your facial expressions. The third thing is to actually record your voice. If you record your voice, you can hear yourself, your cadence, you know when to pause and when you shouldn't. But to hear your own voice on a recording to play it back is also very important. Now all these things, these talking points, I'm going to hand those out later on so you can have these as, as notes. I just wanted to go through them quickly and give you these three main topics just so you could have a feel for it, what it would take to prepare a speech. So practice out loud and, and use a recording device. The last thing I'd like to do is talk about uh, final thoughts are don't hesitate to ask for help. Find a mentor. If, if it doesn't have to be your assigned mentor, but I've used Tom's my mentor, and I've called him, asked him questions. He's talked me through issues. I've gotten help from other people, Jan, Carolyn, I can think of Jeff. Everyone in this room, really, the, 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 the folks that are seasoned, they have really helped me a lot. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Get a mentor. And then when you, you do a speech, like Jack's going to give me some feedback tonight, pay attention to the feedback. It is so helpful. That's one of the wonderful things about Toastmasters is the feedback that we get. When we get feedback, next time we get up in front, at least try to think about what was it that I was told. I was been told, don't talk so fast. I'm trying to slow down tonight, I really am. <laughs> and so those are things that I'm thinking about. Is, is what, what, what have I heard in the past? What have people told me? And that really helps in preparing as well for the next time we get up to speak. And know your audience. If you're gonna be talking to a, a, a scientist, then you can speak at that level. If you're a mixed group, think about who you're talking to. You really need to know your audience in preparation for your speech, and that'll help you think through what kind of things do I want to say and use. And so that's why I've been talking at such a high level tonight, because I knew you, who I was going to be <laughs> speaking to tonight, such a high level group tonight. So those are the things that are, came to me that are really important. Like I said, I'll have a handout for you to, to talk about these bullet points, and I hope that was helpful, and I'm looking forward to hearing the rest of the team presentation this evening. Thank you very much.